Hello everybody, I'm the Super Gamer, and I hope you all enjoyed the new DSG video, or episode. And, uh, yeah. So, I decided to do something different. I'm going to talk about the new Sonic games coming in 2017. Just a quick side note here, I am not going to be too editing enhanced with this one. Because on the Super Gamer, I have a whole new themed month that I have to work on, so please excuse the lack of visual variety. So, we're here to talk about the new Sonic games, which I already said. As you all know, I am a big fan of Sonic. I consider myself a modernist, because I love the modern era the most. Yeah, I know, that's very uncommon, but honestly, that's just the way I am. But I like all the eras. Classic, classic, modern, classic Dreamcast and modern. I even kind of, sort of like the Boom era, but not by that much, because... Sonic Boom's already got a lot of controversy, so I won't really talk about it here. So, uh... Alright, let's talk about this game. Sonic Mania. That's, um... That looks like a really interesting game. They only shoot off two... Uh, they only showed off two... Like, levels in the trailer. And that is green, a remaster of Green Hill Zone. And, uh... And the new zone, Studiopolis Zone. And, yeah, like, there's a... Gumball, there's a bingo bingo wheel, and there's a popcorn machine in there. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a van in there. A van that has a satellite that you teleport. It does give me like a Sonic CD vibe. vibe. And, um, may, I maybe might, I maybe be, um, I cannot speak English. <laughs> I might be doing a, a Sonic month for Sonic Mania in the spring season 4 who knows maybe it'll happen <laughs> it'll totally happen <laughs> okay so so yeah um, and, and it also has three the reason why I'm excited for this it is made by Taxman and Stealth now for those of you who don't know Oh, hold on, let me get my phone out of my pocket. Taxman and Stealth is the creator of these. Hold on, I'm just trying to get really good i really good iPhone remakes. The camera can't really see of Sonic One, Sonic One, Two, and CD. They are like they are really good remakes. I actually prefer the Taxman and Stealth versions, the definitive versions of Sonic One, Two, and CD. So you bet I am excited. For Taxman and Stealth's own Sonic game. Yeah, you bet I'm excited for it. So, um, yeah. I'll be sure to pick that up as soon as possible. Alright, so Project Sonic 2017. Um, they say it's the, this is the real 25th anniversary game. I mean, I originally thought that Sonic Mania was, since they saw all that trailer first, but so that this trailer is like, oh, okay, this is the this is the main game that they're gonna announce. It, it, it's it's just like an apocalyptic future with death egg, death egg ro look death egg like with the death egg robot, three of them like destroying the city. I hated the death egg robot. You you want to see what I mean? Go watch Star Generations Part Four on the Teenage Gamers. Like I'll express how much I hate the death egg robot right there in that video. So, uh, yeah. And yeah, classic Sonic in this game for some reason. Classic Sonic's in the game, the 25th anniversary game, the other one. Yeah, everyone's just assuming that it's gonna be Generations 2, but it's pretty much been confirmed that it, it's not going to be a Generations 2. It's gonna be an original game that just so happens to have classic Sonic in it. So, and, and that last line at the end of the trainer, join the resistance, what does that mean? Honestly, it's very, very, very unlikely, but I think personally that it means the Freedom Fighters are going to be in the game. Incredibly unlikely, I know, since like Ken, Ken Benders is just a huge pain in the butt, or he's pretty much a butt since he copyrighted all his characters. like. Now everyone hates him now. But wouldn't that be awesome if the Freedom Fighters were in the 25th anniversary game? 
I mean, hey, I mean, it's just, hey, like Mr. Potato Head says, a man can dream, or a guy can dream, whatever. <laughs> All right, and honestly, and in Sonic Mania, which I forgot to mention, uh, Sonic Tails and Knuckles are all going to be playable in it. Yeah, I've always said to myself, like, Sega, if you ever have another Sonic game where you have multiple characters playable, do it like you did in Sonic 3 Knuckles. Do not do what you did in Sonic Adventure. Do what you did in 3 Knuckles. That is a fantastic game. Gets my vote for the best Sega Genesis game of all time. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, so many good things. This game is just made by so many good things. I'm just, I'm excited as heck for it. So yeah, and the last game I want to talk about is Sonic... Is Sonic... Uh, I still cannot speak. Like Sonic in LEGO Dimensions. Now, I'm pretty sure you all know what I thought of Sonic getting into LEGO Dimensions. Oh my god! Yeah. So, uh... Yes, this is all unscripted, by the way. And... I really am excited for it because because when I saw like the gameplay trailer yeah it does look like I I probably will only get the Sonic pack not the actual game itself but honestly but but maybe if I do get the pack who cares it has Sonic in it so therefore it's automatically good okay no that is that is a hundred percent false like Sonic has not had a perfect track record <laughs> At all. I don't think even the biggest fan out there can deny that. So yeah. I'm excited for all for all three of those games. And yes, I am I even gonna give Sonic Boom F Fire and Ice a fair chance. Come on, Sonic Rise of Rise of Lyric was not that bad. I played much worse games out there. Some I mean some people even call it the worst game they ever played in their life. I was like, really? This the worst game of all time? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, call it glitchy, whatever you want, but this is not Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. That's not the worst game of all time, people. There, there have been much worse games. Trust me, I'll review a game that is much worse on the Super Gamer for the 50th episode. So, I'm not going to say what it is. It's going to be a surprise. So, yeah. I'm willing to give Sonic Boom and Fire. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give Sonic Boom and Fire a nice and fair chance. It's if if it's good, it's good. But if it's bad, honestly, we won't be surprised. <laughs> we honestly won't be that surprised at all. So yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm excited for Sonic Mania Project Sonic 2017. We never actually got the name for it. I guess they're still figuring that name out, thing that out, but whatever. I'm, I'm excited for Sonic Mania, so Project Sonic 2017, Sonic and Lego Dimensions, and I'm even cautiously optimistic for Sonic Boom Fire and Ice. I'm really, unlike a lot of people, and especially Ego Raptor, I'm going to give this game a fair chance before I judge. I'm going to do that with every Sonic game I play. I always play it and finish it before I give it a review. Yeah, hear that IGN? That's what you should do. You shouldn't just make the review first, play the game later. No. Do the do it the other way around. So, I'm hyped as crap. So, what are your thoughts on the new the new games that were announced at the 25th anniversary party in San Diego? I didn't watch the stream or go to the event myself, but from what I've seen of it, it it looks like the stream part. If you were watching on the live stream, it was really bad. But if you were actually like there, it was pretty cool. So uh, let me know what you think about the new games in the comments below. Um, are you? Will you give Sonic Boom Fire and Ice a fair chance? Just let me know your opinions on Sonic in the comments below. So until next time, I'm just Super Gamer, and here's. I don't have a drink. <laughs> Here's Sonic's new games. Let's hope they're good ones.